Following me. Huh. Swan Fury. Idea had the water droplet send us a message just as the show was coming to an end, so we came back here to wait for you. How is Lissig doing? He finished all the maintenance work, but it took a lot out of him. He's now fast asleep in his room. Oh, I feel a little guilty. Hm. Consider it his atonement. It's only fair that he had to do something constructive before being able to sleep soundly. Seriously, don't waste your concern on him. If you say so. Okay, without further ado, let's go and fix the domain! Isn't this where we first met Water Droplet? Correct! The core of the Valerian Mirage is the largest streaming projector of all, and this domain is one gigantic preprint! Whoa, so everything we've seen is created by this? That's incredible. So to fix it, same process as usual, right? Do we need to use the preprint? Exactly. Well done. <laughs> you catch on quick. It's hard to forget after doing it so many times now. Let's get going. <gasps> this is the final step. Yay! Suddenly, Paimon's really excited! The hub consists of these components. All you need to do is place them onto the foundation in the right shape. The right shape? But we've never seen what it looks like. Oh, don't worry about it. Close enough will do. As long as it can spin, it'll be fine. Should be fine. I think. Uh, sometimes you have no standards whatsoever. I guess it'll be time for us to leave once this is fixed. Something that spins. Would a water wheel count? Wait, this is Zosimos' bottle lamp. Try sticking it in somewhere where there's a gap. And maybe on the right. What's making that shadow? Is it the rope? Hmm. I feel like the rope should go from one part to another to connect them together. It's like doing a jigsaw puzzle! Hmm. If I remember correctly, I think there's supposed to be a small cog on the right-hand side. So maybe that's the candy box. Uh, uh, 
returning. The components are back in the core, and the hub is restored to its proper shape again. <laughs> That's all we needed to do. Like any wound, it just needs time to heal. It'll probably just start turning again one day in the middle of the night when no one's looking. Really? I thought that with your special abilities, you could get it turning again right away. What? Huh? All of us are dying to see it. Not just how the domain looks when it's fixed, but also Idea. And her element. I want to see Idea using her magic powers too! I bet they're super awesome! Uh, what are you guys talking about? And how is Cleon on this, but Paimon isn't? They're referring to our mascot's true form. As I've said all along, there's much more to Idea than she gives herself credit for. She has a very special power. So, I think some of us have sensed that already. Did you notice right away, General? I only found out when I was chatting with Eula. So our General was the first to notice. It seems like she's more perceptive than she lets on. I'd say the same about you, Kaya. What the... All of you know? I mean, I, I wasn't trying to hide anything from you, I, I promise. It's just... For people who stumble upon this place by accident, I think my current form is more approachable than my true one. I... I don't want people to get scared when they see me. What? What is it? And whatever it is, how the heck does everyone know about it? Uh, well, for one thing, I sensed elemental energy in the residents here, but none of them have visions. Then my mind started to wander as I was reading a storybook, and suddenly, I had a thought. Since hydro idolins can change into any form, why not human form? You hit the nail on the head. All right, in that case, please allow me to introduce myself once more. I am an Oceanid who was exiled here when the former Hydro Archon passed away. My name is Adia. Wow, Adia! You're so pretty! <laughs> Now that I'm in my true form, I suddenly feel a little embarrassed talking to you all. You look stunning. You should be flaunting this look at every opportunity. Oh, come on. I'm too shy. Wait. So does this mean that all the people we met in here are actually... I'm guessing that the human counterparts to these Hydro Alter Egos are long gone. That's right. When they wanted to leave, I took them to the edge of the desert. The components are, in fact, gifts that they gave to me before they left. But I'm always curious about what brings people here, so I used the streaming projector to bring their wishes to life. The power to grant wishes, but only within the confines of the bottle. Exactly. It's a truly extraordinary light. I've just realized something. When the components fell from the core, it appeared as if they had returned to their respective owners. But actually... It was after the components landed where they did, that their owners and the things associated with them arose around them to form the different zones. So now that the components have been retrieved, does that mean that all those things are gone? Don't worry, they'll be quite safe. As long as I remember them, they'll never disappear. 
However much we might criticize each other or get into scuffles, in this mirage, they will always be my friends. I had so much fun in the choo-choo cart and hanging out with Mr. Director. I'll never forget them either. Me neither. I'll always remember my adventures in this fantasy land. <laughs> Very good. But it's probably time I set this wheel in motion. This one's all yours, Adia. Our magical mascot. the Shinro casket from the Domain's core? Ah, the Shinro casket. That sounds familiar. One second. Here! Is this it? Wow! A huge shell! It's the relic that Kokomi mentioned earlier! So this is where it's been hiding! It was once a ritual vessel, used for making offerings in the Moun Shrine. It's made from the remains of a yokai called the Shinkiro, and it can listen to the wishes of those who come to pray to build up Shinki, which gives it its power. Several centuries ago, the relic was lost when the last prefect of Yashiori died in battle. Its final resting place was unknown. The pearl that goes with it should be able to sense the casket's location. But when, unbeknownst to anyone at the time, the casket disappeared inside the core of the Valyrian Mirage, the pearl's light died out. Huh? How come? Well, imagine it was a sound instead of light. If the room is too big, you can't hear anything from outside the door, can you? Get it now. The shell must have been having too much fun one day and got locked in the solitary confinement room. I understand now, too. The core has been wearing out recently. That's why you were able to follow the pearl all the way here. To get back to the story, Without the offerings at the shrine, this vessel quickly loses its power. Yet countless people who have visited this domain brought their wishes with them and left a small piece of themselves behind along with their gifts. These have the same effect as the offerings at the shrine. Wow! I never knew this thing was so powerful! It is. Powerful enough to help you repair the Valyria Mirage with any luck. But... what do I do with it? It's simple. We just need to awaken it by telling it what we wish for. For example... My name is Sangonomiya Kokomi, the Divine Priestess of Watatsumi Island. 
And my wish is to use my critical thinking and strategic planning skills to bring a little more joy into the lives of my fellow Watatsumi Islanders, as well as the lives of everyone I cherish. Itia, what do you wish for? Me? I... My wish is that all those who have sojourned to the Valurian Mirage in the past will achieve what they truly wish for, not just in this domain, but out there, too. Even though I know full well that trying to build a railway in the outside world is just a pipe dream, and that Maimuna will probably just go back to being a scholar, and I know that Sosimos has a lot of improving to do as a playwright. It's going to be tough for him back in Fontaine. Chasing your dreams is hard work. Despite all of that, I still hope... ...that somehow, someday, they will achieve their dreams. Everyone's praise and curious questions went to my head. I said so many things I'm so ashamed of, and I... I lost the courage to live on. Please don't say that. Yours was a noble wish. Yeah, and you weren't granting wishes for yourself. You did it for other people. I have friends like that too. Other people's hopes and dreams are what motivate them. They'll work tirelessly just to see them smile. If you ask me, that's one of the most noble things a person can aspire to. Please, no more praise. I, I'm really not comfortable with it. It makes me feel so ashamed. Someone like me doesn't deserve so many people's praise. It's like I'm dreaming. Well, at least the domain is fixed now, and all the components are back in place. Mm. What's the matter, Klee? I suddenly have loads and loads of more wishes! 
says, I want to ride the choo-choo car again and look down from up on top of the big wheel. Is there a way to get up on top of the wheel, Idea? There is a way, but there's only space for a very few people. That's okay. I can go up by myself. Um, but it'd be more fun with Miss Honorary Knight. Are we sure about this? It's so high. What happens if we fall off? Well, yeah, but... Paimon's just worried for you. Don't worry. I'll be there to make sure no one falls off. I haven't been up there in a long time myself. up here. <laughs> sure thing. <gasps> Whenever people have to leave this domain, I like to come up here and spend some time alone after I've seen them out. They're always overjoyed when they first arrive and start bringing their imaginations to life. But once they realize that they can't take anything home with them, they get upset. Some of them can't bear to leave. Others regret ever setting foot in this place. Do you ever get sad, Idea? I feel lonely at times, but not sad. A lot of people destroy everything they created before leaving, but some don't, like the residents you met. Before they left, they asked me to make replicas of themselves using Hydro Eidolons. Then they tasked these replicas with maintaining everything they built here. As if this was their way of keeping their dreams alive. That's beautiful. Yeah, I don't know how they're faring in the outside world, but just the thought that one day they might achieve their dreams and live on the outside just as their counterparts do in here, that's enough to make me happy. It feels like... I'm here waiting for them in the future, where they've achieved everything they wanted. Uh, really? I just think that every dream, every wish, is 
like a flame in a bottle. Whether someone is still working towards their dream or living it already, as long as whenever they think back to that spark of light within them, it still makes them smile fondly. That's all it takes. Well, I feel super happy right now. <laughs> then I guess I finally paid Alice back after all these years. Funny to think I've been in the middle of a desert this whole time. It's just a giant muddy swamp to me. Time for Paimon to give you a nickname! <gasps> mud Fairy! Watch out for India the Mud Fairy! How dare you mock me! Roar! I'll gobble you up in one mouthful! <laughs> oh. I'm still embarrassed to have shown you my uglier side, but I'm glad the Valorium Mirage is up and running again. This place is going to be bustling with activity again soon enough. I hope you'll take some time to enjoy yourselves. Yep! I want to get everyone together! For one last ride on the choo-choo cart!